In this problem, we're going to be looking at a 4x4 four four matrix um, and how to calculate the determinant of it. Um, instantaneously, you should see that this column has uh, a bunch of zeros and there's only one number. So this is going to be the column that I'm going to choose. So essentially, if you choose, I'm going to choose this 3 as my focus point, um, you, you put a line going all the way through it like this. So that means 3 would go here. But if you remember in my previous video of finding out the determinant of the matrix, um, everything next to each other is plus, minus, plus, minus. You start with a plus here, and then it goes plus, minus, plus, minus, minus, plus, minus, plus, plus, minus, plus, minus, minus, plus, minus, plus. Because no positive and negative will be next to each other. So a positive will only be next to a negative, and a negative will only be next to a positive. So if I go plus, minus, plus, then this has to be a negative. So it would be minus 3 here. Um, a, a way of me um, drawing this out is like this. So it's plus, min, uh, plus, minus, plus, ah, oh, sorry, plus, minus, plus, minus, minus, plus, minus, plus, um, plus, minus, minus, plus, plus, minus, minus, plus. So as you can see, if I correspond this matrix to this matrix, everything is um, got um, is assigned a positive or a negative. So as I've chosen this as my three, it's a negative three, and you draw a line all the way through it, and then I get a three by three matrix. One, six, two, three, minus three, one here, and then one, minus one, two, two, minus one, two, two. Um, and so now we've changed this four by four matrix into a three by three matrix. Um, and now we're going to transform this three by three matrix into three sets of two by two matrix matrices matrices sorry so um you can you can um pick any column or any line so i could pick this column uh, this row um it doesn't really matter so i'm going to pick um this column here so if i pick um so you pick this number 2 or multiply by minus 3 here so if i do this it's going to go like that all the way through here like this um leaving me with this, 3 minus 3 minus 1, 2. Then I'm going to go to this one, it's going to be a negative, remember positive, negative, 1. And if I put my line through here and go this, like this, um, I should probably draw out several of these, 1, 6, 2, 3, minus 3, 1, minus 1, 2, 2. 1, 6, 2, 3, minus 3, 1, minus 1, 2, 2. Um, so if I'm picking now this 1, it's going to go like that. So my matrix is going to be 1, 6, minus 1, 2. Um, and then if I'm picking this last number, this 2, the matrix is going to be 1, 6, 3, minus 3, like this. So now I have it in a set of two by two matrix matrices and this is very simple now if you've seen my two by two determinant video um, it's this times this minus this times this so you're going to get minus three two three times two is six minus uh, three minus three times minus one which is three so it would be minus three and then we're going to have one and then you have one times two Minus minus six times mi uh, uh, minus one times six, so you're going to have uh, positive six here. Two, and then you have minus three minus eighteen. Um, and then, as you can see here, we can simplify this again. Minus three multiplied by everything is going to be two, three minus one, eight plus two. Minus 3 minus 18 is minus 21. Um, and then we can multiply this out again. 6 minus 8 minus 42. Um, I'm going to write the rest here. So you're going to have minus, uh, 6 minus 8, which is minus 2 minus 42. And then minus 2 minus 42 is minus 44. 
Um, now you have 44 times 3, which is going to be um, 134. Um, no, 2, 132. So you're gonna, your answer for this matrix is going to be 132 because um, minus 3 times minus 44 is 132. So as you can see, a 4 by 4 matrix is um, um, pretty pretty straightforward. Um, obviously, we have uh, you should always be looking for the column with all the zeros. Um, most of the problems that you'll encounter will always have a column or uh, a row which only has uh, strictly zeros. Then it's turning it into a 3 by 3 matrix, then three sets of 2 by 2 matrix, calculating the determinant of these 2 by 2 matrix and slowly breaking it down until you get a whole number.